Hey everyone. A couple of days ago, you might have seen me do a short video on these um, these fake uh, nickel metal hydride batteries from uh, that I got off eBay from China. Um, now, I want to test these batteries properly, as in actually test the how much capacity they do have or don't, as the case may be. I just realised I didn't actually have a an, a double A um, test fixture, so uh, I'm just going to make make one today and uh, show you how I, how I do it. I'll probably make something similar to to this one that I made before. Um, this is for 18650 batteries, uh, which are lithium. So uh, I, what I do, I solder in uh, wires onto the, uh, the terminals here with uh, much better gauge wire than the, um, the epoxy wiring that you normally get on these little battery boxes. As you can see here, it's, it's tiny, tiny little wire. So uh, it's really hard to do any sort of uh, current measurements or anything like that on these so so you just need a, uh, a decent length of uh, good quality cable so what I do here um, these all have a, um, a brass contact in the end which usually has a hole in um, now what you can actually do is solder in the wire in there like that to get a really good connection right to the end of the battery so there's no uh, or very little voltage drop over the, uh, the over the wire now you do have to be careful because these battery boxes are terrible for um, being heated up um, they'll they'll just melt really easily when you solder them so you have to be you have to be quite quick and uh, you tend to sacrifice maybe a couple of these So I've just cut down the end of the wire here nice and short. So uh, when it goes into the it goes into here, it doesn't stick out too far. Now you can file this down once it's uh, once it's soldered anyway, so. So I've got that soldered on there. Uh, I think I might just uh, reflow it a little bit. It's pretty secure, but uh, just to make sure. Okay, I've got uh, I've got the wires soldered in there now. Uh, the negative side was a bit uh, a bit awkward. Um, it uh, melted a little bit, but uh, I think I've got it soldered in there pretty good. So I just need to uh, tidy this up. Now you tend to find when you've done this that the the connection uh, to the battery will have a lump on it. So that um, that normally just gets filed down with a, a small file, just to stop it um, trying to crush the battery a little bit. Okay, so uh, there we have it. Um, we've got a double A battery box with uh, wires soldering in each end directly onto the battery terminals. And we've got two banana plugs to uh, connect it into uh, whatever we need. Um, notice I've left the, the original wires on. Um, I've actually uh, just kept these off so they're safe, but um, if, you, if you wanted to be uh, particularly swish about this, you could put another pair of banana plugs on here and actually measure the, uh, the voltage at the battery terminals if you want. Um, and um, that would allow you to uh, discount the voltage drop over the over the power cable. Right, I hope you found that useful, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.